Hey Grace people, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Samuel Oso here. It's good to have you here. In this particular tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create custom shapes. I'm going to show you how to create this kind of custom shapes, right? I know you have been seeing these shapes in people's design and you are wondering how they came out these particular shapes, right? So I'm going to take you through, right? So let's start with a fresh page. Let's get rid of the design. So we delete this test, right? So let me show you something. When you come to shapes and you tap on this arrow here, Pizzlab has provided these shapes to you, but then you are not going to see these custom shapes I'm going to take you through. That's why you have to take your time and listen and follow this tutorial to know how to create these custom shapes yourselves, right? So let's get rid, let's cancel this and delete this one and start afresh. Come back to shapes come to back to shapes you are going to use shapes yeah we are going to start with this particular one here but then when you are starting you have to know you have to get in mind the custom shape you are you want to create right so let's increase the radius of it to somewhere 35 it's not bad so you tap on the check mark and once you tap you get here you copy the same shape copy and edit it you edit it to get rid of the radius move the radius to zero then manipulate it move it here somewhere here right somewhere here and then tap on the check mark like this then let's copy it again let's copy it again and edit it edit it you can move it without editing it and move it somewhere here right you can then send it to back you can change the color of it to somewhere red so that you can know the difference between the, the two of the, the two shapes so you move it down here come to position you move it down here make sure it's well placed okay it's okay so you come here and then you merge them together you tap here tap here to merge them together select all of them tap here to merge them together okay now let's change the color of it use let's use one color for all of them you see you can use red so we have this first custom shape we have created it right so what's this you can change the color of it to any color you want and use it in your design and use it in the design in any way you want to use it you can use any color of it you can use any gradient color right on how based on how you want it to be now let's hide this particular one let's hide it and start afresh with a new one so let's come to shape again then we manipulate the design the shape to somewhere like this the size should be something like this then increase the radius of it to somewhere 36 or let's reduce it 32 it's not bad then you tap on the check mark here and let's copy it copy the same shape and edit it so once you edit it you get rid of the radius reduce the radius back to zero then you move it here to this corner here right so you have something like this you have something like this then you tap on the check mark like this so let's copy the same thing copy so we move it here move it here change the color of it to red then move it back to back then make sure it is aligned everything is aligned well right so something like this right then you come here you make them together you tap here you merge them together okay so you have something like this then change the color of it use give it one color you can use any color as you wish as you want right so we have this shape here i know you have been seeing this yeah you can use this one in your designs that's how we do it right so let's hide it real quick then you go to second the third 
custom shapes i'm going to show you come back to shapes again then you manipulate it and get some shape like this right so you get something like this now increase the radius to somewhere to somewhere 33 then you tap on the check mark here let's copy the same thing and then let's edit it once you edit to get rid of the radius then move this one here move this one here right so you move this one here tap on the check mark let's copy it copy the same thing then bring it here so you move it here then you change the color of it so that you can differentiate between the white and the this color give it somewhere red then you send it to back send to back align it well then you can get something like this let's change the color of the red i don't want to merge it i'm showing you something so change the color to white so you have getting a shape like this right so if you, you can change it to other shape other sh custom shape this one here so let's hide this one so once you get this you come to shape let's use rectangle here use this particular rectangle reduce the size move rotate it to here then you place it here right position it here so you get a shape like this get a shape like that. i know you have been seeing these shapes a lot so that's how we do it you get something like this come here and merge them together merge them together so we tap on ok change the color of it you can use any color any gradient color book. so guys that's how we do it so i know you guys know how we use these custom shapes right so you can write something in this particular one you can write something in it that's how we use it so you can write something like how to customize shapes something like this then place it here so you have many ways of using um, this custom shape so let's, let me show you something here when it comes to this particular one here let me see right so when it comes to this particular one here let me hide this one all right so when it comes to this particular one here you can give it a texture you can give it a texture get rid of the color and then give it a texture you can give it texture so we tap on texture and give it an image texture so that's how some yeah so this image you can choose it yeah you can choose it and give it as a texture right so as you can see you can increase the size position it here this they are start, they normally use this in um birthday flyers birthday flyer designs i know you have seen a lot yeah so before you use this um, custom shape you have to know exactly how you are going to use it what you are going to use it for right you can get inspiration from others designs then know have idea on how you are going to use it so guys that's how we do it that's how we use these custom shapes yeah we have learned a lot if you find this particular tutorial video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and comment turn on the post notifications get bell to get alerts whenever i upload awesome and great contents here see you thank you all